All right, let's see what you got. Oh. It's on target. Oh! I've been practicing, I'm not gonna he lie. I cannot believe he just did that, by the way. <laughs> now, News 10 NBC Sports with Rich Donnelly. He is a hallmark in basketball history, one of the most iconic coaches that the sport has ever known. But naturally, when a former first round draft pick is traded during the preseason, one would think the other players could be on edge. How important was it as the head coach here at Syracuse to get local talent like Roosevelt Bowie in the Rochester area? Well, that's always important. I think we've had four or five of our captains have come from Rochester. Alongside Breland Moore, Red Wings general manager Dan Mason, I'm Rich Donnelly. We're on location again, getting pumped up for plates night here at Frontier Field. Uh, I've got the calzone plate. This is an original garbage plate. And, and you got the Q is, plate. Yeah. And the second easy question, who are you guys going to pick at 10? <laughs> Easy question, right? <laughs> Last question, it's the most important. I know you're a fashion guy. Yeah, okay. Can you can you grade kind of the Okay, let's see, let's see what here. you're working with. Let's see what you're I mean, working I'm with. Going a little blue on black. Little, yeah, think? it's cool. You might need to shine the shoes a little bit. That was the Fair only enough. thing, the only okay. thing. But I actually love this tie. I like how you uh, put the, the blue with the, the light blue. It, it, it's kind of clean, man. X doesn't always mark the spot. It's not often that we get treasure hunting stories in sports, but this quest for buried gold in Canandaigua Lake certainly fits like a perfectly sized ring. So right then and there, I knew, wow, holy cow, here's, here's a pretty significant find. Gary Governick has been searching for lost items for years, and with the help of his trusty metal detector, business has been good. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Our story begins on Canandaigua Lake, or more specifically, scuba diving with a metal detector in Canandaigua Lake. I wanted to go where most people don't go. So we threw the dive gear on, my buddy and I, and we went out in uh, deeper water. On a day off around the 4th of July, Governick and a friend went diving with a metal detector. They weren't looking for anything in particular, but one item caught Governick's eye. And I was just kind of um, scooting back towards the boat with him, and bing, 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 I get that uh, nice signal I like to hear in my headphones, and I'm like, wow, this could be something good. There it was, <laughs> a ring. I bring it up to the top of the surface with my buddy and show it to him, and we start rubbing it and looking at it. We're like, holy cow, this, this is more than just, just a ring. This is something that is sentimental to somebody um, that lost it. It's a Hall of Fame ring. More specifically, it was Dick Gamble's American Hockey League Hall of Fame ring. The former Amherst career leading scorer was part of the 2007 AHL Hall of Fame class, just the second class to ever be inducted. But unlike many of the other rings he's found throughout the years, Governick does not want to keep this ring. It has a better home than me taking it to a pawn shop or sitting in a box and handing it down to somebody in my family. It has a better home than that, and it belongs with the owner and their family. And that oh. leads us to Gary Governick's next treasure hunt. He hopes to find Dick Gamble and give his ring back personally. 